Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. This video guys is just the continuation ng ating previous video about the mean variance and standard deviation of the sampling distribution with replacement. So this time, uh, ang given natin uh, na data is without replacement. Okay? So we have the same formula, yung anim natin. We have the population mean, population variance, and the population standard deviation. And we have the mean of the sampling distribution, the variance of the sampling distribution, and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Okay? So let's have this example. A population consists of three numbers, two, four, six. Then consider all possible sample size of two, which can be drawn without replacement. From the population. So again, pag sinabi natin without replacement, pagka nagamit nyo na yung value doon sa ating population, di nyo siya pwedeng ulitin. Okay? So, we are asked to find the following. Letter A, find the population mean. So since uh, may tatlo tayong data, which is 2, 4, 6, that will be our x. Okay? We have 2, 4, and 6. So, to get the population mean, ang formula natin dyan is population mean is equals to the summation of x over n. Okay? So, in this table, kunin nyo lang guys yung summation ng ating x. So, 2 plus 4 plus 6, that is equals to 12. So, ang number of data natin is equals to 3. Then, substitute natin yun dun sa ating formula. That is uh, 12 over 3. So, ang population mean natin is equals to 4. Nakuha, guys? So, next is kunin natin yung variance or yung population variance using the formula of population variance equals the summation of x minus mean square all over n. Okay? So, una, kunin muna natin yung x minus mean dito sa ating table. So, pag ginawa natin to guys, subtract lang natin yung x dun sa na-compute nating mean. So, 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. 4 minus 4, we have 0. Then, 6 minus 4, that is 2. Tama? So, ang kailangan natin sa formula is may square. So, square lang natin yung last column natin. So, negative 2 square, we have 4. Then, 0 square, this is 0. 2 square, we have 4. Tama? Then, get the summation of the x minus population mean square. This is 4 plus 0 plus 4, which is equivalent to 8. So, pwede na natin ngayon masolve yung ating population variance, which is equals to 8 over n. So, ang n natin is 3. Then, 8 divided by 3. So, ang ating population variance is equals to 2.67. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin makuha yung ating population standard deviation by getting the square root ng ating variance. Tama? So, ang variance natin is 2.67. So, therefore, ang ating population standard deviation is equals to 1.63. Okay? So, nakuha ba guys kung paano natin kinuha yung population mean, variance, and standard deviation? Next is yung mean and variance and standard deviation naman ng sampling distribution. Pero bago yun guys, kailangan uh, i-construct muna natin yung ating sampling distribution. So, dito, kailangan malist doon natin all possible samples of size 2. Okay, again, without replacement. Okay? So, again, ang ating population is 246. So, list down natin yung ating mga sample. So, this time, guys, without replacement tayo. So, 2. Then, we have 4. Then, 2. Then, 6. Okay, so wala tayong 2, 2 this time since 
uh, without replacement nga. Next is 4 naman yung ating first uh, data. So, we have 4, 2, and 4, 6. Okay? So, last one, yung ating um, 6 naman, yung first data natin. So, we have 6, 2, then 6, 4. Tama? So, as you can see, ang number of observation natin is equals to 6. Okay? So, after natin makakuha yung list ng samples natin, pwede na natin makuha yung sample mean by getting the average ng each sample. So, 2 plus 4, that is 6, divided by 2, 3. 2 plus 6, 8, divided by 2, that is 4. 4 plus 2, 6, divided by 2, 3. 4 plus 6, that's 10, divided by 2, we have 5. 6 plus 2, 8, divided by 2, we have 4. Then 6 plus 4, that's 10, divided by 2, that is equals to 5. Okay? So ngayon guys, after natin makuha yung sample mean ng each sample natin, pwede na natin makompute yung ating mean ng ating sampling distribution by getting the summation ng ating sample mean over n. Okay, so i-total lang natin yung ating uh, sample mean. So 3 plus 4, 7 plus 3, that's 10, plus 5, 15 plus 4, 19 plus 5, we have 24. Okay, so solving for the mean of the sampling distribution, we have 24 over n, so ang n natin is 6. So, ang mean natin ng ating sampling distribution is equals to 4. Tama? So, ngayon kung meron na tayong mean ng ating sampling distribution, pwede na natin kunin yung ating um, variance ng sampling distribution by using the formula of um, var, uh, variance of the sampling distribution is equal to the summation ng ating mean minus ng mean ng ating sampling distribution square all over n. Okay, so subtract natin yung mean doon sa mean ng ating sampling distribution. So 3 minus 4, that is negative 1. 4 minus 4, we have 0. 3 minus 4, we have negative 1. 5 minus 4, we have 1. 4 minus 4, 0. Then 5 minus 4, this is 1. Tama? So, ang kailangan natin sa formula is naka-square. So, square natin tong ating previous column. Okay, so negative 1 square, this is 1. 0 square, we have 0. Negative 1 squared, this is 1. 1 square, 1. 0 square, we have 0. Then 1 square, this is 1. Okay? So, ngayon, kunin natin yung summation ng ating sample mean minus the mean of the sampling distribution square. So, 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1, this is equals to 4. Tama? Tama? So, apply natin yan dun sa ating formula. So, the variance ng ating sampling distribution is equals to 4 over n. So, ang n natin is equals to 6. Okay? So, divide nyan guys. So, ang variance ng ating sampling distribution is equals to 0 0.67. Okay? So, kung may variance na tayo guys, pwede na natin makuha yung standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution by getting the square root ng ating variance which is 0 0.67. Okay? So, ang standard deviation ngayon ng ating um, sampling distribution is equals to 0 0.82. Yan. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo kung paano ba natin nakuha yung mean, variance, and standard deviation ng ating um, sampling distribution. 
So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!